So, afternoon year 11. Um, the multiple effect is one of the key principles and concepts you need to know for AQA Geography Paper 2. Um, it's basically a geographical process that um, accentuates something um, that has happened in the economy, and it's, hence the cartoon. And that something often is the secondary manufacturing sector. Um, so often the multiplier effect is when a country's manufacturing industry starts to grow. And in growing, it provides jobs and stimulates wider economic development um, through, um, through boosting the, um, the, the manufacturing sector, providing more purchasing power to citizenship, and therefore providing increasing level of investment in the local economy. And the way it basically works is often starts all starts with foreign direct investment or FDI. It's basically a foreign company that invests into local economy. In the case of um, red and green here, we learn about Shell Oil in Nigeria. Shell Oil, which is an Anglo-Dutch company, invests money in the Nigerian economy. What this does, it'll provide uh, employment to local Nigerians uh, and therefore increase the employment of uh, local uh, local workers. In providing employment, it'll also increase their level of income. Remember, economic growth uh, in and manufacturing sector often pays better than primary sector. So as you go up the levels from primary to secondary to tertiary to quaternary, the pay increases as well. So in providing uh, manufacturing jobs, you provide more jobs, you provide better paid jobs. With that better pay comes bigger purchasing power for the, for the employees. The employees earn more money, they have more um, finances available and they can spend these finances in, um, in the local economy, they can do that in schools, they can do it in, uh, on clothes, on, um, on, car, on new cars, on a hospital, on housing, etc. With this increased spending, they, I'll move the, my face here, they can increase tax revenue for the government because every, purchase, every spending they do will have an impact on, um, on tax revenue, whether that's by paying VAT, whether that's by, um, by uh, companies they spend the money in paying taxes as a result of the of their tax, adding tax returns at the end of the, of the year. And all this tax revenue generates um, an income for the government. And their government can then use that income to invest in local services. And by investing in local services, they can increase the level of skills and infrastructure in this country. They can increase skills by investing in education and tertiary, for tertiary and quaternary sector. They can increase skills by providing more um, more uh, training, they can increase skills by having more technical courses, etc., etc. Um, and they can also improve infrastructure with hospitals, roads, railways, networks, etc., and therefore boost the wider economic productivity of the country itself. And in doing so, they might even attract more foreign direct investment, uh, and other companies see the level of um, infrastructure investment and um, skills investment in Nigeria and go actually. Shell's established. There's all the there's all the economy based around the oil industry. You might have Total or Exxon Mobil that goes right. I'll also come and join and tap into this um, and kind of multiply effect, positive multiply effect in the local economy. Um, and that is basically a vicious but positive circle for newly emerging economies and low income countries. If you want a specific example, for instance, put it simply: um, if a factory opens, um, that'll create jobs for local people. Um, the, that bigger workforce will be paid more and therefore will be taxed more. And as tax revenue increases, uh, money from these taxes will be spent on roads and schools and hospitals. It leads to a healthier and a more educated workforce because they've better medical care, they've got better education levels. And as a result of that, you can have more opportunities uh, that exist in the local economy due to better jobs, uh, better industries. Um, the, the people who are more educated will have more, uh, be more innovative. By being more innovative, they'll be able to open new companies and open new factories and increase new jobs. And the cycle starts again and again and again. And the multiplier effect is basically core to understanding how newly emerging economies hope to become high-income countries is through the boosting of the of the of the uh, manufacturing sector